In this video, we will detail how to set up advanced printing in Register, which enables multiple order receipt printers. Within Register Plus, you can configure multiple order receipts to print from a number of additional printers. This is typically used in hospitality environments where you would like order receipts to be printed to different stations. For example, all drinks will print at the bar, all hot food will go to the main kitchen, and all sweets will go to the dessert station. Register Core devices can print to a single order printer if desired, which is detailed in another video. Advanced printing differs from secondary printing in that your products need to sit in product groups rather than having each product configured for a certain printer. There are several steps to set up your order receipt printers with advanced printing. These are Create the product groups Add products to the groups Creating the printers Configuring the order reference Configure advanced printing and finally, assigning printers to devices. First, we need to create our product groups. To do this, log into the web portal, click Stock, and then click Product and Print Groups. You need to create a group for each set of products that will produce a different order receipt. In this case, we will create three groups for our main courses, desserts, and drinks. Simply click the New Group button, name the group, and give the group a unique code, and click Yes if this group will trigger an order receipt. Finally, click the Save button. Repeat this process until you have added all your groups. Now we have our groups, we need to add products to them. A quick note, in order to do this, you must have your products in register first. To add products to the group, click the View Products button on the appropriate product group. The web portal will now list all products within the group. You can either add products manually or via an import. To add items manually, click the Add Products button and search for the product you wish to add to the group. You can search by product name or SKU. After entering the criteria, click the Search button and select the appropriate product from the drop-down list and click the Add button. Repeat this process as many times as needed. When ready, click the Done button to return to the product group page. If you need to add multiple products to a group, you may find it quicker to do this via an import. First, click the Download Template button or Export Records button. These will provide you with a spreadsheet that once complete can then be imported to add products to your group. In the spreadsheet, simply enter the SKU of the products to be added in column B. Remember to add yes to column A so the portal knows which rows to import. After saving your spreadsheet, return to the web portal and click the Import button. Click the white button to select your spreadsheet and click the Import button. Now our products are all configured, we need to add our printers. Click Config from the top bar and click Printers from the sub-menu. Here, we need to add all the printers including the primary printers that are used for your devices, as we will later be setting our profile to advanced printing. To add a printer, click the New Printer button. You will see the same printer options found within Profiles. First, give your printer a name so you can identify it, and then enter the normal details. Each option may display some different settings depending on the printer selected. Please refer to the user manual for specific details. For this example, we will use ESCPOS with a receipt width of 48 characters. The port is where you enter the connection details. If using a USB device, enter USB colon. If using Bluetooth, it would be BT colon followed by the device Bluetooth name. If using a network or Wi-Fi printer, you would enter TCP colon followed by the IP address. Network-based printers are by far the most common. An important thing to note when using network printers, you will want to set up your printer to a static IP address. Please refer to the printer manual or your IT manager to configure this. You can obtain the printer's IP address on most printers by pressing and holding the Print Feed button on the printer whilst turning it on. When doing this, most printers will produce a system report which includes the IP address which you would enter in the web portal. After entering the details, select which product group the printer is for. If it is to be used for receipts, then click the Save button. Repeat this process for your remaining printers. Now we have added our printers, we need to configure the profile to use advanced printing. To do this, click Config and then click Profiles. Either create a new profile or edit an existing profile using the pen Edit icon. Click to expand the hardware section and set your primary printer to advanced printing. Whilst we are in Profiles, we will now choose a transaction reference. When Register needs to print an order receipt, it must provide a reference. Scroll up and click to expand the function group. Here you will see an option for transaction reference. 
By default, this is set to free text, which allows the user to manually name the transaction. You can change this option to automatic generated order numbers, the customer name if using the CRM, a list such as tables and prefixed text. After making your selection, scroll down and click save to update the profile and then click close. The final step in the process is to configure each device and select which printers it can use. To do this, click devices on the top bar. Either add a new device or edit an existing device. You will see at the bottom of the device form a new area where you can assign printers. In this section, you will see a list of all the printers we just created. Simply tick which printer will be used as the primary printer and tick the appropriate secondary printers. After selecting your printers, click the save button and repeat the process for your remaining devices. Once you have completed the configuration, don't forget to tap the update data button on the login screen to update the details. Now everything is set up, either at the end of every transaction or when suspending a transaction, the register will prompt for the transaction reference and the order receipts will be printed. It will then ask if you are ready to print the customer receipt. Tap continue to complete the process. Further information on secondary printers can also be found in your user manual and if you still have any questions, please contact your support provider whose details can be found in the register menu or in the web portal.